Hello, this is Serious Jew, and this is my Let's Play of Dungeons of Dreadmar. It's a new game that came out on Steam recently. Super cheap, it's only about three quid. If you're interested, pick it up, it's very fun. And um, I'm, not re I'm not using fraps as usual to record this. Mind you, I didn't use fraps for um, uh, Streets of Red before. Um, I'm using Cam Studio, which is a free software. It's not the best thing I've used before. The quality's not going to be brilliant. The frame rate's certainly not going to be great, but it's not too important for this game because this game's quite, you know, it, it is as fast as you want it to be. It's all turn-based and it's all strategic and everything. Um, this is me starting a new game. You, these are all the skills you choose and such. Uh, I've already kind of pre-selected the skills I wanted to use. I normally like to play as a mage kind of character. This time I'm going to try and go all out and be a full-on uh, melee kind of character that's like beefed up to the max sort of thing. Um, the only kind of skill I'm not sure is this one. Um, I'm not sure if there's a more useful one I could possibly use, but um, I don't know. But yeah, we'll just go for this and see how it goes. See, this this game sort of um, it emphasizes, you know, that you, you should experiment as much as you can, and uh, you know, if you die, that's it, you're dead forever, sort of thing. Unle unless you turn permadeath off. But one of the selling points of this game is that you know, you have to be as careful as you can be, and every death should be a learning experience. Anyway, here's the uh, here's the awesome story. In ages long past, great heroes bound the Dark Lord Dreadmore in the depths of the earth that is evil will trouble the land nevermore. Alas, the foul leash Dreadmore proved most devious and patient, for he has been loosening his magical bonds, slowly freeing himself to again spread his evil in the world of light. He must be stopped again. Once more, it is time of adventure, of glory. It is the time for a hero. Unfortunately, this hero is you. You have been summoned by the king to prove yourself, to save the land and its people, to join the heroes of legend and victory over the dungeons of Dreadmaw. That's me. That's me and my giant eyebrows. Eyebrows, rather. Um, you know, create a character, of course. See, you always look the same. Um, welcome to the dungeon of Dreadmaw. Please enjoy your stay. If you haven't played this tutorial, blah, 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 blah. And this is it. Look how old school this looks. Nice hand-drawn, you know, animation. It's nice. Um, oh, a shop right away. That's pretty good. Uh, normally I stress over having to find a shop because you pick up so much loot that you want to sell. You're like, where's the shop? Where's the shop? And you can never bloody find it. Um, it's not often I find it right away like this. Well, anyway, I can't buy anything. You don't start with any gold. You usually would start with some items and such or some you know, um, equipment that is already on you depending on what skills you select. Um, otherwise it's pretty bare. Here's a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, 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 oh, that was a bit of a balls up. That is an extremely weak enemy, but I let him get a few hits in when he really shouldn't have. Uh, that's a teleporter. Um, but let's take a quick look at what skills I picked, shall I? Um, so, like I say, uh, I don't have a lot of experience doing a melee character, but I thought it'd be quite fun to do one that emphasizes. That has, that has a lot of emphasis in just hand to hand combat rather than having to rely on weapons. So that's that's what I got for. These are basically all the upgrades that you can get, and you can you choose one every time you level up. Um, so I've picked for the unarmed art. Who needs weapons? Destroy your enemies with your mighty feet. Um, shield bearer, return with your shield or under it for the defense-minded adventurer. So you can you can let, let's see, you can equip like a sword and maybe another sword here, or you can equip two shields. And shields, you know, they all give you major defense to melee attacks. So I thought. You know, if I can find two decent shields and a decent piece of armor, then I'll be able to absorb tons of uh, damage. Um, Berserk of Rage. Do it! Do it for Grom! I'm not sure what reference that is. Um, but basically, every time I get hit, I might go into a bit of a rage. In fact, I went into a bit of a rage here, uh, which will increase my stats temporarily for the fight. And that can happen every time I get hit. You know, it doesn't have to run out and then I get hit again, then it resets. Um, Artful Dodging. The best defense is to be somewhere else. It's quite clever. Um, basically, it gives me a better chance to dodge at enemy attacks. Not magic, though. Uh, Master of Arms. The armorial art revolves around gracefully strapping large chunks of metal to your body. So again, I'll be able to use art um, more effectively. Uh, thick skin, like, that will give me a better chance just to block stuff. Uh, vampirism. Quench that insatiable thirst for the, ting uh, for the tingly life fluid of your enemies. Be beware the day star, for your end under its unforgiving gaze would be swift and sparkly. As a vampire, you can only heal by unnatural means. So, essentially, 
what the first skill gives me is that every time I attack an enemy, I get a little bit of health back, which is actually really nice. Um, unfortunately, it means I can't eat any food that I pick up to heal myself, which is the more conventional way of healing self. But I can still use potions, and I can still use mushrooms to heal myself. But more on that later. Viking wizardry. In the cold not, uh, Northlands, they fostered harsh, but fair. Magic's particularly useful in close combat. Um, yeah, this was the skill I wasn't sure whether I should pick up or not, but um, this one skill here is actually really good. It um, increases... It, it essentially adds a uh, lightning element to your attack on top of whatever you may have already, so it just makes your attacks more powerful. It's quite useful. It does rely on magic though, and I'm not high on magic, and I don't think I ever will be. But we'll we'll see how it goes. Still not entirely sure on that skill, but whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll see. I think everything else I've picked is not so bad. <laughs> Sickly diggle. Yeah. Yeah, dead. Kick him in the face. Oh, here's a helmet. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that seems... Oh, do I? Because this one increases... Because these, these are all my stats. These are your primary stats. These are all your secondary stats. Uh, Berliness is what... Uh, well, let's have a read. Burliness is the primary attribute of the warrior and pertains to getting into trouble, hitting one's head on the other on other people, and getting hit by large objects, limbs, pseudopods. It affects hit points, melee power, and block chance. And I've picked this thing up, which will give me better block chance. It'll also absorb one actual hit. Um, also gives me stubbornness. It affects magical resistance and block chance. Uh. No, I don't think I will bother with that. I think I'll just stick with what I have. What's this? Oh, it's just a black pill. That's just an, uh, like an ingredient sort of thing. There are loads of it, because there's loads of crafting options as well, but I don't have any crafting skill. And at these, these skills that you pick, these are basically what you're stuck with for the whole game. You can't actually get any other additional skills other than upgrading what you did pick. And I haven't even... For some reason in games like this, I, I generally don't explore the crafting kind of, you know, skill tree. Like, uh, I've heard friends tell me, like, on um, on Oblivion, that crafting your own magical item stuff was massively beneficial, but I just never got into it. And I haven't tried in this game, but I would like to try it. This, this game has been making me more experiment more than usual in other similar games. But anyway, this isn't any kind of Oblivion game. There are side quests, but nothing too complicated. It's an indie game. It was only three quid. It's really, really good. But essentially, the aim of the game is to kill Dreadmore. And I've never actually done it before. I've never gone to the very bottom of this tower type thing. What's that zombie doing up here? You don't normally find zombies on this level. They're normally on the level below. Yeah, basically, all around the you know the dungeon. Is it, this is just level one of the dungeon. There are, there are stairs that will go down, and this <coughs> that'll be level two, etc., etc. And I don't even know how many levels there are. So um, this could be a long let's play, and I don't even know if I'll be able to do it. And I haven't done it once yet. So oh, this is getting this is going quite bad. Um, that uh, I'm quite confident I can kill him quite easily. So yeah, there we go. See, the vampirism is really helping me out here. Like I'm actually gaining more health as I'm hitting them. Because they're so weak, they don't hit me that hard. Uh, ooh, ooh, I don't like this, actually. Use my power. Increase my attack damage. Kill the sickly one first. Yeah, kill him one hit. There we go. No problem. You actually drink booze to increase your magic as well. I should do that, actually. There doesn't seem to be any penalty for drinking too much booze, either. So, uh, where is it? Uh, drink that. Drink that. And there. Uh, it'll increase slowly over time. Like, for 10 more turns, I will gain 1 MP, which is nice. Food acts exactly the same as well. But potions and stuff are usually more immediate effects. My little anvil junior smithing game, I think. And this, this game is incredibly geeky and very, very funny. There's loads of random little references to sci-fi to other games and other random stuff like every time you find a magical oop, every time you find a magical item it's usually like it so it's encrusted with s something and the something will be like a reference to like like a like an old show or something like that or an old game 
like I once found. It doesn't make any difference, it's just a random, it's all procedurally generated. Like I once found, I think it was a sword or shield that was uh, encrusted with Illyrium 115, I think it was. Which is a reference to XCOM. Um, this is a side quest thing. I don't know why it gives you a yes or no answer. I always got a yes. Uh, the magical artifact. It's cool. The cowardly leathers must be found and used on the monolith. So I have to find a particular item somewhere in the dungeon, and then I have to find the monolith and use the item on the monolith. And the monolith, monolith is exactly what you think it is. It's just, it's just a block. Oh, it's already given. Why is it? Sometimes it says you have to find something, and you do genuinely have to find it. Or sometimes it just gives it to you. So there we go. I've got the item now. And um, I am usually quite thorough, so I will be going through the entire dungeon if I can. Oops. So hopefully, we will find that. Uh, we will find the monolith. Uh, just been collected a ring, which is probably a good ring of ash. That'll give me really two fire resistance. There we go. Uh, all this other stuff. Oh, I've got another thing here. Yeah? Didn't even notice that. Uh, it gives me one more hit point and uh, some other thing. Trap site radius. Trap site radius determines the distance at which you can spot and identify traps. That's quite nice. Yeah, because one of the most common ways I die in this game are from acid traps and um, they are insanely dangerous and way overpowered and sometimes you'll step on one without realizing or you know you won't react quick enough and um, you'll just die instantly which is ex exactly what happened to me last time I was doing absolutely fantastic hey level up I was doing fantastic I stepped on an acid mine took two steps and then I died and I was at almost full health and I was quite far down as well anyway hey level up it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. You must learn a new skill for your skill to, to, uh, to from your skill tomb to gain the full effect of your new level. So I can pick something new now. And I I always get stuck. What to pick? What should I pick? What should I pick? Fights matter not better. You can reach a defense for a while after you get hit. After you hit. Viking uh, Timberman. When you defend, there is a chance that you'll become really angry. This also increases your attack abilities. Uh, nightly leap with this ability you can ah uh, that sounds pretty good actually because sometimes you might come into a room and there might be like a platform that's surrounded by water and the only way to get it is to teleport or use some other uh, potion or other to um, to teleport but even then it's random like there's a skill where you can start off with a teleport move <laughs> yeah just wander into the fire there's a skill where you start off with a teleport move but it's completely random. Where, where you'll teleport. You, you just teleport somewhere that you can see basically and it's just chance if you teleport to where you want to. Oh! Didn't even see him there. Get away! Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oops! Um. Okay. That's alright. Let's go around that. No problem. Yeah, I'd like to play a game where I'm like really... what the hell? Never seen that before. Oh, it's this door open, right? Um, I'd like to play a game where I'm like an expert at traps and stuff, because you can recover traps and you know, you can lay them down, which is actually really, really handy. Although basically every time you see one of these things, there's always a trap somewhere vertically along it, because these always shoot arrows or something. Uh, let's see, where am I going? Where am I going? Down? Oops. I'm fine. Mm. I feel like playing as a melee character requires a little less thinking. Because all I have to do is basically run up and hit them. Whereas when I'm playing as a mage, I'm always concerned about... Um, this is quite good. I'm always concerned about, you know, making sure I keep my distance, like, sh should I cast this spell, and will it, will it, you know, put me at disadvantage or anything? Wow, this is really good. This is just, like, better in every way. Gimme. There we go. Simple wooden shield. Well, I may as well equip it. Since I don't have anything there. So I'm carrying two shields now, and I'm kicking people in the face. This monster's asleep. He's under the helmet. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any kind of bonus for attacking a sleeping enemy. Uh, unless you got the assassin skill. I think. Mm. 
So there's two teleporters here. Let's see where this takes us. It takes us. Great! Be now ready. Oh! Right next to the entrance. That's pretty good. Well, I'll carry on down here for now. Ah. Can never bloody see the chops quick enough. Battered kite shield. Minus one dodge, three block chance, one absorb thingy. Three chance, uh, yeah. Wait, what, what? Oh no, this is actually worse than this shield. Is it? Mm. Yeah, I'll sacrifice the one dodge for for that. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty good trade. Hyperborean potion. Um, I think that gives my that'll give my attacks a ice element or something. We're basically just trading blows there. I'm not gaining or losing health from it. Hey, I love in the dawn. I uh, leveled up. Middling kid. There we go. So what shall I get next? Well, this would be quite good. This basically lets me essentially eat dead bodies for health. Uh, let's kill these guys first. Quite handy as well as when you level up you get all your health back, which is nice. Think of heading back to the shop to sell stuff. Pull the lever, so I'm the secret passage down the left. This is a real field of bucket, which is actually a helmet. Not a particularly good helmet. What? Th what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Most useless teleport ever. Ugh, uh, this isn't very good. Oops. Yeah. Well, this is all going very good so far. Normally, the first level is the hardest because you're so underpowered and you tend to die to recklessness, but it seems to be doing that okay. Kick. Yeah. Come on. Kick. Yeah. What hit? Wasn't even a critical hit. Oh, another side quest thing. The vile monster Lebake, the father of gears, has seized control of the dungeon. Dun dun dun. Well, okay. I'm sure I'll come across him sometime. Hey yeah. Kick. Kick. Let me use this. Zone. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Pull the lever, and then it says nothing else. It usually tells you if you, know, you hear something or chops have been activated or something like that. Come here! Yeah! You pull the lever, you hear the sounds of machinery! But who knows where that is? Copper wire, so another crafting material. Mm, yeah! And the lever. You pull the lever, you hear the sounds of machinery again! Bookshelf gives you a recipe for crafting, but I don't have any crafting skills, so uh, it's useless to me. I'm sure if I had a crafting skill, I'd be super excited to see a bookshelf. Come here. Uh, uh. Kick. Kick. Yeah, money. Yeah, money. And a diamond. Woo! Little bird thing that turns through walls with its odd rubbery nasal appliance. This one looks really mad. It's 
monster trying to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. You suck. Ooh, potion of healing. That's very good. Where's that monolith? Hey. Hey, there it is. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so here we go. So I will. You talk with the cards. Blah, blah, blah. So is this going to reveal a monster, or do I just have to do that? Because you just like, yeah, use this item on this thing, and then kill the thing that appears. No, oh, no, that's it. Yay! A mostly magical shield. Uh. Sell that. It's annoying because all the stuff you get rewarded with is completely random. What's the street lamp doing down here? Do, 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 do. Anyway, Monolith is here. It's here. It's here. It's here on the map. Remember, I might need it later. I'm doing that because I tend to find these particular things because there's like Monolith and there's other things that you. Know, you, you might have to go and find as part of a side quest. But, and if I find the thing first and then get the side quest, I always forget where the thing was. Um, so that's one quest down. See the other one? Defeat? No, oh, yeah, I've just got to find wherever he is. And he could be anywhere. Ooh, silly booger. Yeah, monsters are quite weak to. They're quite weak to traps and stuff. Like, even if it's just now a trap, he seems to deal quite a lot of damage to them. <laughs> Boink. Yeah, you just trash the statues and it gives you a nice chunk of XP. Oops! I'm fine. Wait. My health isn't fantastic. Super chest. Uh, let's put that for now. Oi! Uh, there we go. It'll give me one, two, sight radius, and a couple other things. Do I want it? Do I want it? Uh, enemy dodge reduction. So if I wear this, it'll let me hit them easier, is that right? And the other thing, the orange thing, that's an element which will get added to my. Oh, no, no, it's not, it's not sorry, it's a primary. Cardishness is the primary attribute of the pirate and revolves around not caring about the feelings of others. It affects critical hits and counter hit counter attack chance. Um I think that's just loot to sell. Let's see, what's in here? Ah, bollocks. Here he is. We'll bake the father of gears, so I need to kill this guy. Um this could be quite difficult, says I can't summon any families, I can't lay any traps or use any spells. Let's see how it goes. Kill this guy. Ugh. Um, hmm. We'll kick him once and see what happens. He did 5 damage. That's quite a lot. I've only got 14 health left. Uh, hmm. Let's run away. <laughs> Sometimes little balls up following you and give you, like, Where was that? Was that? Uh, did I just hit me or did it hit the monster? <laughs> yeah, maybe I could do that. Aha! Uh -huh. So he... The, uh, but I can't use any food to... No, wait, yeah I can. Use this potion. There we go. Right. How about you? Yeah! Kick! Kick! Kick again! Yay! I got a, a rusted sword, but at least it's magical, I suppose. <sighs> Put it down. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, I guess two fire resistance, two poison resistance, but I'm not going to use it because um, I don't. I don't use weapons. I use my bare fists. Well, I use my bare feet. Well, I don't use my bare feet. He wears boots, but you know. Mm. 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 
crafting items. Where's this take me? Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! Ugh! Ugh! Die! Ugh! Ugh! Yeah! There we go. Right, well, ugh, I'm freaking miles away. What's down here? Money! I do like money. Arrows, but I, mean, I can use arrows, but I can't use arrows as effectively as I could be able to, because you know there is a skill to specialize in bone arrows, Ooh, bone arrows and stuff. Also, I think if you do decide to be a bit of an archer, then it's probably beneficial to have a crafting skill to be able to make your own arrows, because you know, oh, my shit's full. Um, arrows aren't exactly lying around everywhere. I mean, yeah, you find them, but they're not too common. Ooh, an anvil. Anvil of... is it Krom? Yeah, Krom. This basically has the chance of increasing the stats on a piece of armour, or a weapon. Unfortunately, it also has a chance of putting a curse on it to making it worse, but let's try this and see what happens. He is pleased by you, yay! Best by you for Krom has added new powers to your artifact. Give me one more block chance and... Whatever that is. I can never remember what all the symbols mean. That is sneakiness. Uh yeah, yeah, not bad. Could have been better, but could have been worse, could have been a whole lot worse. Mm. Mm. Die! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, my infantry is full. Well, we're gonna go to the shop and sell some stuff, so it'll be fine. Here we are. Hello, Mr. Big Man, whose name is Brax. Uh, you don't think that's a, a reference to Space Ghost, do you? Anyway, uh, uh, don't need any of this. Um, I don't particularly want mushrooms either. I am not a mushroom expert. Mushrooms are really useful if you have the mushroom skill. Don't need any of these weapons. Um, That's a really good hour, actually. Ah, sorry. I'm not going to be using hours anytime soon. Look at this. Don't need any of this crap. I don't need poison. I don't want to drink poison. And I don't have any potion crafting skill. Um, that's not, yeah, I don't want that. Don't want that. I probably don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need any of this rubbish. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I mean, normally I'd really want to keep certain things, but with this kind of character and my skill setup, what am I going to want to keep? Uh, give it some nice dosh. Whoops, that's my phone. Never mind that. It's already been half an hour. That's quick. I'll keep going until I get to the second floor, which might be some time. Through another door, kill some more things. <laughs> just die! There we go. Oh, yeah, another animal. I mean, I could just use the same thing. Uh, let's use this thing. Yeah, he's pleased by you. Yay! He gave me oh, Hyperborean element to attack. That's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's giving me a slight ice element to my attack now. I mean, some enemies that you know they have defense against it, but otherwise, on this early level. Um, most of them is it's going to take extra damage from it, so that's nice. It's basically just like another plus one to my attacks, which is nice. Another side quest. You must use the item Kang for the Knives of Waffles on the monolith. Monolith is down there, down there, down there, I remember. Is it? I hope it is. Uh, only then can Lord Dreadmar's servant pos uh, Possumness the mid-afternoon's cod <laughs> be summoned and defeated. So here we go. I'll take that. 
and we'll head back there soon. You can actually die from kicking a door, because sometimes you kick it and it hurts your foot, which actually damages you, and if your health is low enough, it can kill you. Oh, that was pretty handy. That wasn't handy. Oh, it's a bit of gold there, Mr. Yoink. Let's head to that monolith. Oh, I'm really close to getting another level up as well. That's my XP down there, by the way. Take a tiny shortcut. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm going the totally wrong way. Give me that gold. Alright, down. Oh. Uh, uh, yay! Let's have a look. What shall I get? What shall I get? Uh, don't want that. This could be quite good. This is an attack that can push an enemy back. That could be really good actually if I'm getting chased by someone strong. I don't know if it's guaranteed to push them back, but in my quick experiments it worked every single time, so let's see how it goes. I imagine this enemy that's going to get summoned when I use this item on the monolith is going to be quite strong. Oh, something died. It's funny, I mean, like, things can die anywhere in the dungeon just because they stumble on a, you know, a, a trap or something. And if, they, if that happens, you get experience for it, which is quite funny. Here we go. Dink. There he is. Uh, so let's try. Well, first of all, use this to increase my attacks. And then I will use this. Uh. Oh, it didn't work. But it, whoa, it did a lot of damage on him. I don't know what he did. He transports there and uh, he vanishes the puff of smoke. Chris did it. He hasn't even attacked me. What was he doing? Oof. That's not too bad. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was easy. I got a new shield. Is it better than my current shield? Uh, that's going to give me another element to my attack. Two block chance and two... What was it again? Sneakiness. I kind of want to put emphasis on defense more than anything. I like the idea of being able to absorb all those attacks and just and just chipping away at enemies. So I don't think I will use that shield. More loot. That's okay. Sometimes you do get rewarded something really really good, but it's just purely by chance if it's something that you know coincides really well with the skills you chose. There's a little area that I haven't checked out up here. Apparently, is there not? Yeah, there's a door there. Let's go around and check it out. Hello. Thou art a hack. There's still all kinds of random stuff to you. The insult you mum and all sorts of things. Hmm. Still plenty of this dungeon that I haven't explored. I hope the recording's gone okay. It's fine. Thank you. Hello. Hehe. <laughs> uh, eat your dead body. Hey, it's another shop. Uh, da, 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 is there anything very good in here that I might want? Hmm. Uh, leather boots. That could be quite nice. Considering I don't have any, and I can easily afford it. Any other, any other better boots in here that I haven't spotted yet? Doesn't look like it. Wow. That's a very nice ring. Uh, well, it's not bad. Hmm. 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 Uh, tempting. I might give it a miss. But then you don't, you don't find rings very often. <laughs> and the description is pretty much the worst ring possible. It is studded with grooved reinforced concrete. I'll give it a miss. There's probably better ones. And this is cheap and actually quite good because I don't have any boots. There we go. So I can absorb one. To, how many attacks? I can absorb five hits. So long as it's like not a piercing attack. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, wait. I should sell stuff. Uh, I don't know why I'm rearranging it. I don't need any of this. Food is useless to me, so... Uh, oh, let's go left. Anything over here? Money? Another bloody shop. Ow. A very nice looking ring. Well, it looks nice, but it's not that good. Uh, highly conductive coppery arc. It is studded with uranium. 
wouldn't be very healthy to wear, would it? And a pretty good crossbow, but then I don't use crossbows. I mean, any character you create can always equip one. Like I say, you can always use arrows, you just can't take full advantage of them. Uh, I'll give it a skip. Let's see if I can unarm this. Ow. Oh, it's in the wall, so that's not bad. <coughs> Still plenty more dungeon crawling to do. Uh, lockpicks, useful. Oops. Oh, it's fine. What's over here? It's a vending machine that sells balls. There, there we go. Oh. Yeah, dead. <laughs> okay. That monster set off like two different traps at the same time. Now they're walking through poisonous gas. Suckers. Well, I'll walk. It tends to linger quite a lot. And two damage, is that right? Or oh, three damage, actually. Oh, I'm fine. Let me eat that body there. There we go. Oh. Ah, so do I look at this. I recognize this setup. Oi! There we go. Uh, a gargoyle acid bolt trap. Bollocks. These things kick your ass big time. They're probably the most dangerous traps in the game. Ah, but I've got nightly leap. I wonder if I could. Oh, yeah, I could totally bypass it. Hehe. <laughs> uh, eh? I've never used it before. Woohoo! There we go. Now I don't have to bother with that trap at all. That's really good. Nightly leap is basically. You know, you can move like a knight on a chessboard, you move in an L shape. That's really useful. Well, I could use it to, like, go through walls and shit. Mind my language. So, there's usually a trap here, but it looks like the void have been set off, so that's good. Oh man, that's so useful! I don't have to worry about... You know, this particular setup, this, this whole, you know, you come around the corner and there's like a... You know, a moat of whatever here. You see it all the time, and there's always, always a bloody acid trap here. Now I don't have to bother. I can just... Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Hehe. <laughs> it doesn't even use up any magic either. It just has a recharge time of six turns, which is nothing, really. Yeah, it's already recharged. That's super useful. That is really, really useful. Ow! <sighs> See, I could have used it then, but... Uh. 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 Disarm it. Get you a bit of XP. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. Okay, first of all, run away here. Zing! And then you use my buff, and then kill. Kill! Kill! Yeah, kill! Oh! Uh. Come here. Yeah! Easy peasy! Oh, why are there so many of them? What the hell? Ugh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Kick him off your left foot. His mighty left foot. Uh. Uh. Come on then. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop. Hee hee. Good stuff. Bolt of mass destruction. This bolt contains terrible energies. You are bec you are become death, destroyer of dungeons. Um wow. Never used one of those before. I've never even had one before. Uh I'm going to teleport there. Uh oops. Ding. Don't have to bother with those traps. Come here. What that hit the oh, okay never mind, whatever. Gladiator sandals. But my shoes are pretty okay, so. Uh, nightly leap. Wait. Ding. I wonder if I can. <laughs> I can. 
Ugh. So I can even teleport onto the same block that a, an enemy is occupying. That's quite interesting. Gives it a little bit more flexibility. I like how it just clicks his fingers to do as well. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Uh. It's fine. I'm not even panicking when I'm getting surrounded by little bats. Did I... When did I kill... Oh yeah, 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 it was that... Um, that thingy, wasn't it, that summoned. Oof. I thought... I thought I had another quest. Oh! It's fine. It's okay, I'm good. I'll just eat this body here. There we go. Well, there wasn't much there. Nothing but enemies and XP to get. Ah, another explosion! Son of does two damage to me there. He looks really nasty, but it's really not. It's a lot of smoke, a lot of poisonous gas. Skipping turns to wait for it to disappear. There we go. You just press space bar to skip turns. Ding ding, see. It really does remind me a lot of XCOM. I think that's why I really enjoy this game. Eggs. Quite good for giving the health back, unless you're a vampire, of course, like me. Oh, two drink. Uh, these can these can be deadly um, if it's acid. But let's see what happens. You feel refreshed, yay! I think that just gives you health back. You find a shiny penny in the fountain. Here we are. Touch of Midas. Uh, for a while, all you touch turns to gold. Well, a bit of your enemies at least. So every time I attack an enemy. It'll drop some gold, which is quite nice. At least that's the idea, anyway. Apparently. I mean, I'd hit him, but nothing happened. Maybe it's if you hit them and they don't die? I don't know. There's a potion that grants you this as well, but I haven't found it very useful. Bookcase. Potion of invisibility. Again, useless to me because I can't craft anything, so. It really doesn't matter. More gold! Hey! Mm. Oi! Every time you see an egg like this, there's always another egg around the corner. There we go. Oh, hang on a second. What am I? Oops, sorry. Get a bit confused in my headset there. Huh! <sighs> Bowels, more diggle eggs. Oops. What are you doing there then? What are you doing behind that bowl? Come here. Yeah. Make your eggs. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know if like the skills you choose determines what stats increase when you level up. But every time I've played as a mage, my strength and everything has always gone up, so... I think it's just the same every single time, and I, I don't know. But even even now I've got no weapon and I'm killing these enemies quite easily. Although it is still only a level 1. Less trouble with my inventory management actually. Not only been carrying like so many different types of mushrooms, because a lot of mushrooms are really beneficial. And um, also with the mushroom skill, there's a skill that lets you turn mushrooms into other mushrooms, which is nigh on almost overpowered. Because there are mushrooms. Oh, I'm getting lost. I'm looking at the wrong thing on the map. Um, there are mushrooms that can give you health back. Uh, mushrooms that can give magic points back. Where am I going? I guess it's just over here, isn't it? 
And uh, there's, there's a skill with the mushroom skill where you can basically grow mushrooms out of dead bodies, and it's just you never have, you never short on mushrooms. Basically, you, you, when you have the mushroom skill, you're obsessed with mushrooms, and they can just save you so much trouble. And I chose not to get it to give myself what I think would be a bit more of a challenge. Not that this game isn't hard enough for me. I mean, I don't know why I want to. That's not true. I don't want to give myself more of a challenge because the game's already hard enough. I've not finished it yet. Oi, where are you going? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'll have that. Sure. Gimme. Zing. There we go. Easy peasy. I don't know what just died, but that's okay. Uh, it's basically like a better version of the Ring of Ash, isn't it? So, there we go. Sweet. Give me one more burliness, which increases my strength and my hit points. Doesn't it? Well, apparently it does, but that's what it says. It affects hit points, melee power, and block, of ch uh, block chance. So my maximum hit points isn't changing. Oh well, whatever. Let's carry on. Kick. Kick. I mean, if I really don't want to get hit, I could use this, couldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> wow, how, how far back does it kick them? It might just kill him right away, so I might not be able to find out. Oh, it didn't. Oh, wait, I press one button. Whoa! It kicks them back pretty far. Didn't know that. So I could easily use it to create space, and it again doesn't cost MP, it's just a skill that recharges. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. I think we're, we've almost wrapped up this dungeon now. Uh, sorry, almost wrapped up this level. Ouch. Hey, level up. What to get, what to get, what to get? Uh, let's take a look. What's this? Supremely sly sidestepper. Uh, most dodge. It's amazing we even get hit at all. Uh, da -da -da -da. Footwork. Won this. Have your foot in the right place at the right time. Will make all the difference. Duck and come there. I think we'll get this. Since considering I'm always in close combat, I think it's really beneficial to upgrade the uh, the Berserker Rage skill. There we go, so it'll make me more angry and more powerful as I get hit. And as I'm attacking. Hiya. I think that's about it, isn't it? No more quests. Try to look at the map, see if there's any doors I may have missed, but I think that's about it. So now all we need to do is find some stairs to go down and we'll carry on. Carry on down, further down to the depths of Dungeons of Dreadmore to fight Lord Dreadmore and stop him from doing whatever he's doing. Level 2. Kill this guy, call it quits. Well, um, hope you've enjoyed this little let's play. Wish me luck, I have never completed this game before and I, you know, I do have permadeath enabled. If I die, I'm dead forever, so I need all the help I can get. Thanks for watching, bye!